Welcome back to Ali Aquarium channel. Here are eight reasons why your pet fish die. The first reason is killed by other fishes or tank mates. There are so many reasons why some fish killed other fishes. Some fish are territorial and will chase any other fish in their claimed area. Some fish are aggressive and should only be kept with other fish that can defend themselves. Some fish are predatory and will eat other fish. And if the fish are not getting enough food or enough of particular nutrient, they might just go ahead and eat the other. This is why it is so important to research before purchase or as the fish keeper. The next one and the common reason why fish died is overfeeding or improper feeding. Feeding in the right proportion and at the right time is very important. It is advised to feed your fish only once a day. And we should only feed them with a quantity that they can eat within a few minutes. Make sure to give them the right quality of food to the right fish. Many beginners make mistake of overfeeding the fish because they feel guilty whenever they pass by and the fish are following them. But they don't know that they are just putting the fish health at risk. The third one is poor maintenance. If I say poor maintenance, it is generally talks about cleanliness. You should be setting time aside every week or two to clean your aquarium. This typically includes wiping down the glass, cleaning the substrate, and checking to ensure everything is in working order. But perhaps the most important maintenance is performing water change. You and me, we have luxury of keeping our home clean by throwing off the trash and flushing the toilet. Your fish, on the other hand, must swim in it. If waste continues to build up and you do nothing about it, it will lead to water quality issue putting your fish at risk of dying. It is for this reason that you should perform a weekly water change. By removing 10 to 20% of the gunked up aquarium water in your tank each week and replacing it with fresh water, you'll keep your fish happy and healthy. The next is stress. It isn't good for humans and it definitely isn't good for fish. Stress on fish eventually results in its death. It's just a matter of time. It may take a few days or weeks, but one thing is certain, your fish days are numbered. And unfortunately, stress makes it difficult for a beginner to determine why an apparently healthy fish died. So here are some common causes of stress that can lead to untimely death of your pet fish. Like aquarium is too small, or mixing incompatible fish, like I've said, poor maintenance, rapid water change, and some caused by environmental factors such as loud noises, tapping the glass, and constant movements, or unstable water conditions, inappropriate or aggressive tank mates, lack of sufficient oxygen, or infection. The next one on our list is overcrowding. One of the common fish killer. Many aquarium owners can get carried away when purchasing fish, buying far too many for the size of tank they have. But this not only gives the fish less space to move around in, but it also increases the chances of there being an ammonia problem. A good rule to follow is just one centimeters of fish per liter of water. 
This helps you to work out how many fish you can have while taking on board the food that not all fish are the same size. But even if you don't have too many fish in your tank, it's not also good to put or to add several fish at once because it can cause ammonia levels to spike and such a sudden and dramatic change can kill the fish off quickly when they run out of clean water to swim in. It is best to gradually introduce your fish to the aquarium a few at a time, making sure that you acclimatize them properly. Next is new tank syndrome. New tank syndrome is what fish keepers usually have to deal with when first setting up a tank if they don't allow it to get cycled before adding fish into it. The culture of nitrifying bacteria or the good bacteria hasn't had time to settle, grow or get established. So any fish introduced into the said tank will most likely die of ammonia poisoning without warning. Fish waste like fish food, plant matter, etc. will break down into ammonia in any tank. But in a tank that has well-established good bacteria, these toxic elements get turned into non-toxic nitrites. Nitrates, sorry. An aquarium that's still in the new tank syndrome phase will simply not have enough good bacteria to keep water quality good enough to be compatible with life of your pet fish. Next on our list is poor water condition. Keeping the water healthy for your aquarium inhabitants is one of the most important things you can do to avoid premature death for your fish. It is smart to have a testing kit so you know where you stand with your water parameters. These kits typically measure ammonia, nitrates, and pH. It is best to know the pH reading for your water source as well as your tank itself. Most tropical fish can adjust to different pH levels in a well-maintained tank, but you need to do your research to make sure you aren't setting up your new fish for failure. However, all fish can suffer from swings up or down, so it is important to try to keep a steady pH level. Taking regular readings of your tank's water parameters gives you a knowledge on what is happening in your aquarium. You don't have to guess if something is off. You can see it clearly ref reflected in the water quality readings. Then you have to figure out why and what to do about it. And the eighth reason why fish die is unsuccessful transfer. Having a new fish die soon after you introduce it into your tank can be the result of an unsuccessful transfer. Along with the stress of being put in a bag and going on a wild ride. Well, there are plenty of things that can go wrong during a transfer. Like not acclimating new fish to your tank's particular water conditions, like temperature in particular, can cause even the hardiest fish species to succumb to death shortly after a transfer. Small or fancy fish with long flowy fins are incredibly sensitive to transfers. Unfortunately, they can easily get injured even when trying to get them into a fish net. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe.